right, now gaming performance. This is The Witcher 3 on the lowest preset 1080p. Just how will it run? Well, let's take a look. Not bad at all for integrated graphics. Now, normally with integrated graphics, I would actually drop down to 720p, but we're getting 40, 45 frames per second right now. And if you take a look at the top left-hand corner, the GPU's, of course, at 100%, well, 99%, but look at the clock. So, 2,100 megahertz. It's holding the maximum turbo speed, the Vega graphics, that it can the whole entire time. So there's no strange throttling, nothing silly is going on here. And the performance, very, very respectable for integrated Vega graphics here. So let's have a look now at GTA 5, which is another, yes, old title, but a good title. Okay, so I have the game set here to normal settings and the distance, scaling, population, and those settings there set to the middle, 1080p. And you can see video memory that it's using just over a gigabyte and it can use a lot more there. So it's dynamic, shared memory use. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. And just take a look at the performance that I'm able to get here. So this is 71 frames per second. Really good, again, for integrated graphics with all this traffic around and on medium settings, 1080p. Looking good. I don't know what that truck was just doing then, trying to kill me. So what happens if I jump out now? We're gonna see some huge frame dips. A lot of screen tearing. Obviously I would turn on V-Sync to get rid of that. But look at this, 80 frames per second. Still very, very, very good. So completely playable. An older title like this at 1080p on integrated graphics in 2021 is fantastic. Ah. And now a really demanding game which is Cyberpunk 2077. This I did not expect. 720p, lowest possible setting. This is still looking better than what you'd find on a PlayStation 4 with 30 frames per second. And a lot of the times it's actually mid 30s right here. So what I'll do is just get out of the car, blast my weapon a few times. So it did dip down to 28 frames per second just then. Oh, got hit by a car. All right, still 29 frames per second. The oh, textures didn't even load in just then. See, the game still has glitches like that, which is incredible. I mean, I'm running PCI storage here and it's still doing that. You cannot blame the chipset. Probably because I'm on the low graphics settings. But this performance, this is incredible for integrated graphics to have a frame rate like this. Vega graphics. Oh, I'm a bad shot here. Oh, he got me. 